Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a three dimensional part from a two dimensional drawing. This is going to be another one. Um, we're going to do this in millimeters. New design. Um, I'm going to do something a little different here though. Normally I've been pulling in the drawing and having you draw right over the top of it, almost like a trace. Um, that's really good if you're if you're new to drafting or you're new to SolidWorks or um, or Design Spark Mechanical um, or Fusion 360. If you're new to any of those programs, it's a good way to work because it just ensures that you're not going to you're going to make less mistakes. It uh, allows you to learn how to use the tools, and then eventually you don't need to do that. So we're going to make this uh, tutorial about not doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this in. Now normally, if I were creating this part, um, I have two monitors. So I would go ahead and have this drawing on the right monitor full size so I could see all the dimensions. And then on the left side, I'd have Design Spark Mechanical or SolidWorks open and I would just start drawing the part. So since I don't have, I'm working on my laptop here, I don't have two. This is, a, I only have one monitor here to work with. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this up in the corner and we're just going to make sure that the snap to grid is on. And you just need to make this drawing uh, big enough for you to be able to see it. So, and we can see it now. So we'll go ahead and get your circle, make sure snaps are on. And then I usually like to start somewhere around here. Doesn't really matter where, but we're going to go draw that 60. That's going to be our first first line and then now we can go ahead and scale this up because we need, it needs to be bigger okay now we're gonna go do the second circle which is 30 we go from the center there drag out type 30 okay now we're gonna go ahead and put this measurement in here this 105 so we're gonna do a construction line instead of a regular line we're gonna drag out to the right type in 105 okay and we're going to get our circle tool. We're going to draw this geometry here, 42 and 20. So we're normally going to draw, drag this out to 42. And we're going to do the inner one, 20. Okay. Now we're going to put these arches in here. Now the secret with these arches is you, get, you need to go ahead and this is going to be radius 60. This is going to be radius uh, R115. One, 1 is you need to get your this tool, uh, your tangent, arc tool and you need to hold down the alt key so what you're going to do is you're going to hover around the changes to blue so you're going to hover around where you would normally uh, draw this so we're going to be up here in the corner here just past the the midway point so just past here so we're going to be about right here so we're going to click here and then we're going to drag over to here now the secret is you need you can't let it go on a spot that doesn't have a double blue line so right there if you look at the right you can see two blue lines so you want to go ahead and click there now the reason for that is that you're going to have to adjust this so you're going to have to be able to adjust it and now you can now if i had clicked without those double blue lines i wouldn't have been able to adjust it so now we'll go ahead and put in our um two 230 okay and now you're going to go, want to do the same thing down here so you want to go ahead and get that tangent arc line you want to hold down your alt key and now we're going to hover somewhere around here we're going to click and we're going to drag over here now you got to do the same thing over here is just move it around until you get that double line and then um, now you can go ahead and come back and click on it and now you're going to be able to adjust this so we want to do 60 and 60 is 120 so we'll go ahead and key in 120 okay now this is how it's supposed to be okay now we're going to go ahead and offset these to get this in the middle part so we're going to get our offset tool and we're going to go eight this way down and then we're going to go eight up okay now we're going to go ahead and trim away so we'll get our trim away tool trim right here okay now we're going to go ahead and put in our create rounded corner so we're going to go from there over to here 
I want to put in eight. Okay, now you're going to do this one from here to here, eight. And then you're going to do this one from here to here, eight. And then from here to here, we're going to go eight. Okay. So this is, now we go ahead and get rid of this line. We don't need it. Um, now you're going to have to redraw that line. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, delete this right here and this. Now you have to put these lines back in here because when you wrap radius this corner they disappeared. So we're going to go ahead and go, this one is 60, so just add that back in there, no big deal. And then this one here is 42, so go ahead and type 42. Okay. Now you're going to go ahead and put a, a construction line. going to go from that midpoint there, midpoint there, and then you're going to go ahead and um, offset this. Let's go ahead and get a line in there. Just at the bottom of this, actually undo, undo, let's go. Put a line straight across there at the bottom. And the reason for that is we want to offset it up uh, 33 millimeters because we're going to draw that notch. So we want to go ahead and offset this 33. And then we're going to, the, the notch needs to be 8. So we're going to go ahead and get our offset tool. And we're going to offset this over 4. So type 4. And then offset this 4. Okay. Now you're going to go ahead and put a line in there. Just go ahead and click and drag eight millimeters get our trim away let's trim away these pieces here you gotta be careful using construction lines because um, if you do too many of them you'll have I like to delete them as I go because if you don't they'll be all over your drawing and it'll take forever to get rid of these things so let's go ahead and delete this so we have a notch there okay and we'll get uh, get rid of these and then these ones at the bottom then we'll go ahead and just get our select tool and get rid of this line sometimes they don't trim away you just have to delete them okay so that, that's normally how I would draw a part um, just keep this as a reference on the other monitor or if you don't if you only have a single screen laptop like I'm working off my Alienware I just go ahead and keep it up in the corner so and then I'll get rid of it once I'm done. So we, we need to extrude these two pieces here 20 and then we're going to go ahead and extrude the middle portions 10 and then I'm going to put radiuses and fillets wherever I would like them to be. Since this isn't a manufacturing part I'm not going to be following the drawing exactly. I'm going to do some leeway here. So we'll go ahead and go pull from both sides. We're going to type 20. Okay now you're going to get these you're going to pull, pull from both sides, type 10. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this piece inside. We don't need these inside pieces. Delete. And now as far as fillets go, I think I'm just going to, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put the fillets. I could just do the whole thing with fillets. We can do the handle for sure. You can click till everything is selected. Let's just put a 0.5 fillet on there. That's always nice. Triple click, we'll get everything. Type 0.5. Let's put a 1 mil fillet here. 1 mil fillet there. Let's go ahead and leave the um, these without a fillet. All right, so you're going to go ahead and spin this to the back. Pull. Let's go ahead and double, triple click till all this is selected. Hold down control. Looks like you're going to do one at a time. So let's go ahead and triple click, type 0.5. Go to the next one. Triple click, 0.5. Go ahead and get that one there, type one or one millimeter. Make sure you're on pull. 
type one and go to this one one enter okay that's going to end today's tutorial let's go to top view go ahead and spin this make sure everything's good all right you got a half millimeter fillet on the two pieces on the top one millimeter fillets here and on the back side it looks like everything is good okay we're going to go ahead and the tutorial right there um, that's how you normally would do draw a two-dimensional part or actually how you would create a three-dimensional part with a two-dimensional drawing it's just uh, you don't have to overlap it or overlay it the only reason I was doing that is in the beginning if you're learning and you're new to design spark mechanical or you're new to drafting it's just an easy way to make sure that you're not making any mistakes it's kind of like if you're an artist and you want to uh, sketch something it's kind of like blowing it up on a projector and just going over uh, you know the projector with tracing paper and a pen is you, you know that you're drawing you're tracing exactly what's there and you're not uh, you're not making any mistakes and that's the same way with drafting uh, and actually creating a three-dimensional part is if you are actually drawing right on the overlaid uh, scan with JPEG file you're gonna know instantly if you make a mistake like if you don't put the right uh, if you don't put the right size circle in it's gonna show if you don't if something you don't radius a corner properly you don't fill it a corner properly you're gonna notice so uh, it's a good way to learn and once you get down to the part where uh, you're comfortable and you can uh, get rid of the um, the overlay just go ahead and put it up in the corner uh, draw your part and just use it as as needed as reference and um, you should be fine or if you're lucky enough to have two monitors go ahead and put the the uh, jpeg file with dimensions on your right monitor or however you want to do it and then have your um, your designing program on the uh, left monitor okay thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you got something you uh, got something useful out of this video and you enjoyed watching uh, thanks again for watching